Ludacris V2 controller on a 70 pound fat bike with a 52 volt 27 amp hour 60 amp continuous triangle battery and uh, set it profile V1 which is I got set for 2500 watts uh, using pedal assist only up until about 20 miles per hour and then I'll hit the throttle when I hit the throttle from a stop it wants to uh, rip the whole motor apart So many settings in the VESC app that uh, you can play with and talk to, communicate with Marcos on the, what is it, the electric bike forum. And he's helped me out quite a bit. Just trial and error. I don't even have it close to peak performance. Uh, this battery, as powerful as it is, is only half the amps that I would need to really reach this potential. So I'm gonna to have to order a super high powered 72 volt battery from uh, Lightspeed, some custom, custom battery I think. That's the only thing that's gonna be able to be stronger than this controller can put out. Just mind-blowing power here. I've got the pedal assist settings to uh, react super fast, like faster than the throttle was on the stock BBS HD. I mean, I'm at 2,500 watts, and this is scary powerful. I've had the V1. Uh, ludicrous controller but this feels a lot more torquey it's probably because all the different parameters I was able to change in the VESC app so I've, I've got three profiles set in the VESC app first profile I just listed stock 1500 watt max uh, which is stock BBS HD and the second profile I have listed as V1 which is 2500 watts which is the V1 ludicrous controller and then my third profile the highest power powered one is the V2 and I have that set at 4500 watts I read on a forum that that was the listing or the wattage that he was getting out of a 52 volt battery so I put that as the limit. I might taper that down until I get a 72 volt battery to maybe 3200 watts and see how that works. Also, I installed a brand new motor and a upgraded, uh, what the hell is it called? Motor gear, I guess it's called, motor shaft to take the abuse of this beast here or to prepare myself and then I put a whole bunch of the mobile 21 uh, or mobile 28 grease all throughout and of course took out the nylon gear and put a steel gear I've done that on all my BBS HD builds I've ripped the hell out of the nylon gears one time in about five seconds of riding they're just uh, it's pointless to have them anybody worried about the noise on the steel uh, I don't even hear it over these fat tires I don't notice any difference I could care less about the the noise I'd much rather have the performance and not get stranded oh yeah this sucker's a beast now so with all the profiles that you can do on the v2 controller you basically have three bikes. 
at your disposal. You get to feel the power of stock if you want, the power of their V1 Ludicrous controller, and the power of this one, the latest. So it's really awesome in that respect. I'm happy with it. This is the longest ride that I've ever taken on it. Took it, uh, I've been playing with this for about two weeks and the settings were all uh, just not tailor-made for me. I've got 230 pounds on a 70 pound bike, so that's 300 pounds with the fat tires. So the settings had to be completely changed i had i had to take out my 42 tooth uh, chain ring and put my 30 tooth on the 42 tooth it just would bog the motor down and wanted to rip my motor shaft so the 30 tooth allows it to spin fast enough and once i slapped that bad boy on it's been smooth sailing ever since and then i just worked on the customization of the v vesc app uh, and I'm still going to be tweaking it because I can still feel some inconsistencies here. But it's definitely rideable now. This is a powerhouse. Alright, take care.